Hi, I'm Halil Burak Çetinkaya, and welcome to Building RESTful Web Services with PHP by Pact Publishing. I am a software engineer with over three years of experience. I have been involved in every phase of software development. I am interested in object-oriented programming, programming languages, APIs, web services, and etc. This course is all about that building RESTful APIs with PHP. In this course, what we are going to do is we are going to tackle how to build our own RESTful API with PHP programming language and Salix framework. We are going to build something useful. In this course, what we are going to do is we are going to first look at REST basics and make sure that we all have a basic understanding about it. And we are going to start with what REST is and what request and response means. And we are going to talk about what they are and why we need them and why do we use them, etc. Then we are going to start with installing required programs to start our development process. We are going to talk about what they are and why they should be installed. Later, we are going to configure our development environment. And we are going to make sure that we have configured them properly. Every step must be taken carefully. You better not skip any step in this course if you aren't 100% sure about it. And we are going to start talking about a project. Since we have configured the development environment, now we are ready to write some code. We are going to talk about what ideas we can realize for this. And we are going to find an idea. We are going to start building our first components of our API based on that idea. At first, we are going to start easy and simple. But as we go on, we are going to add more features into our API. We are going to create a database. And we are going to wire that database to our application. And we are going to use that database in our API. Later, we are going to talk about authentication. We are going to discuss about potential threats, security vulnerabilities, and we are going to see what we can do about that. We are going to add an authentication layer to our API. We are going to keep our API safe with this layer. After we start adding new features to our API, we are going to enable file uploading in our API first. With this new feature, we will have introduced new security vulnerabilities to our API. So again, we are going to use new layers to keep our files and API safe. And in the final section of this course, we are going to introduce hypermedia into our API. We are going to talk about what hypermedia is, what it is good for, is it needed, when and where should we use it, and we are going to see how we can implement it in our API. Then we are going to look at versioning. We are going to see what versioning is for an API. We are going to discuss when we should make new versions of an API. And we are going to make an example and we are going to start the second version of our API. In this course, it's actually enough that you are a beginner at PHP and REST. If you haven't taken any introductory courses about PHP and REST yet, I strongly recommend you to do that first before starting this course because this way you can get the full benefit from the course. You should have a Windows computer. You should at least have a text editor. In this course, I'm using Sublime Text. You can use whatever you want. 